it's the time of the year again. It's nearly Christmas. So this time I'm departing from Hong Kong to Takamatsu via Taipei with my family. Today I'm flying with China Airlines first on a 747, then a 737 from Taipei. Upon clearing immigration, there's a large food court with plenty of options. But seats usually get filled during peak traveling periods. You can also fill up your water bottles in one of these. Hot and cold water are both available. And this is the gate for our flight, gate 23. Zone 1 and Zone 2 economy guests are welcome to queue up first. And upon boarding, friendly cabin crew welcomed us on board. The economy cabin is in a standard 343 configuration. While the 747 has a dated hard product, China Airlines is planning to renovate the 747s as they plan to delay the retirement of the fleet. As you can see here, the RV screen is pretty primitive and lacks a touch of modern design. Earphones are in the pocket next to the screen. On the other side of the screen, you'll find a mirror. And here's the view from my seat 38K, massive rings of the Boeing 747. Then in the seat pocket, you'll find a safety card. You also find a 60th anniversary special issue magazine in a seat pocket and a sky putty which is effectively a duty free magazine. On the side of the armrest is the IFE remote, which I think is better than using the irresponsive touchscreen on this particular aircraft. And soon we're ready for departure. And part next to us was a China Airlines 737 bound for Kaohsiung. And then we made our way to runway 07 white. So after takeoff, I started on my favorite cartoon and finished it on my return journey. I've got to say, although the aircraft is kind of old, the seats are actually quite comfortable. On top, you have a thick headrest, and at the bottom, it has a great lumbar support. The legroom is also quite generous. However, there is no individual air nozzles, which could make controlling the temperature difficult. This 60 minute flight also includes a full meal, which is not commonly found on other airlines flying on the same route. So for this flight, I got a chicken rice served with vegetables mixed with mushroom sauce. Even my mum who hates flight meal enjoyed it. Arriving into any airport in Tehran from an international flight is always a headache because there's a lot of informational videos that are required to be played before landing. 
Luckily, I managed to survive through all the videos and made it to our final approach. To conclude, this was overall an enjoyable flight. And I'm proud to be flying on the 747 again before they are no longer flying in the skies. The 747 gives you a spacious impression once on board the aircraft and during the flight, unlike many modern airliners. Back to the airline itself, it's always nice to have something decent to eat, even on a short flight like this. So here's a great thumbs up for China Airlines, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Stay tuned for my onward journey to Takamatsu from Taipei.